Hello, everyone. Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino, checking in on Bitcoin. Bitcoin, we finally get starting to get the breakout to the upside. You can see how it's now going up to the next level, pausing there, now going through it. So the next level we'll be watching for is the 60. 768 area higher anytime so we pause got separation of moving averages first catch on it watch on any pullbacks that it catches on the rotation zone and rotates back up those are aggressive entries since you're still against the rotation zone on the daily time frame but they are valid entries and remember you can also if you want to project levels to move your stops you can do stuff like this and look at that so we went from the swing low to the most recent high so it called for 66.24 we closed just below that then it's giving 66.66 right now that's the temporary high I mean, i'll probably go through that but at least so this would be okay we've hit this 66.66 area let me move up my stop and then when it pauses again you can keep ratcheting it up those are the kind of things you're going to want to do until you get to the next higher levels and you're going to want to watch for a cluster if anything forms around the 67, 68 area. Let's check in on that daily chart. Daily chart. So it is above. Let me zoom in here. It is above the rotation zone. You can see that right now. So that is positive, but we still want to get the first cross before we have the rotation zone in our favor on the four hour and the daily. But you can still, if you're looking for rotation entries, they are valid. They are still just aggressive. So you have to move up your stops. The other big target once we get through 67, 68 is going to be about 68, 24 to the declining 50. And then we have all the other levels marked. So that's really all we have for you on Bitcoin right now. Switching over to Ethereum. Ethereum, we don't have yet the first cross in the rotation zone. So watch for the orange line to get above the blue line. Next target on Ethereum is going to be about this 286 level, declining 50 and the prior GAN 50% level. Watch then for if we get the orange line above the blue line, that would be the rotations on our favor. Then you're going to watch for catches on it and rotations back up. So that's the kind of thing you'll be looking for. Again, you could do a simple little projection down here to look for the next levels. So we're going for that high. This isn't really a pause yet. So you're going to want to go back to this high. Then you'd be looking at 283 and then look we have a cluster right here at this 286 level so that's a level you don't want to ignore so if you're doing any buys that got up to that level that's an area to move up your stops let's check in on the daily chart on ethereum let me zoom in so ethereum just below that 284 is the 8 so 284 to 286 is the key area i would focus on because the 8 is still going to be resistance real i i mean 284 is sort of soft the harder level is going to be this 286 right there and then through that then i watch for 295 then 303 and etc and keep doing your projections as you go up nothing else has really changed on ethereum still weaker than bitcoin but attempting to recover also that's what we have for you on ethereum and we'll talk to you soon bye for now